my name's Hedy and I'm the Big Cheese founder of San Francisco based travel gift card mytab.co. Today we are going to show you how to visualize GPS data on your phone. Now the best way to do this is by using Google Maps and I'm going to show you on this little nifty Android phone with the fantastic orange cover that I bought how to do this really easy and how to look at a few different places and zip in and out using auto GPS. Let's get started. So before we start playing around with maps, we need to make sure your GPS is up. On your Android, here on the left hand side, these four boxes, click on that, go to settings, punch that. Then go to location and security. And you can see I've already ticked GPS satellites. Don't untick that if you've already got it ticked, just keep it on, it's not a big deal. If your phone's already, you're paying for your charges already as a flat rate, just keep it on, it's not a big deal. So make sure that it's ticked. To untick it, just press it, hey, you're good to go. Press home, obviously makes sense. And then press this circle here to go over to your maps. These are Google Maps. So you click on Google Maps and hey ho, Sloat Garden Centre pops up because I typed this in earlier. I take this, just press on it, it highlights everything and you can either press delete and it brings up the most recent listings or I can type something in specific like the pet store. I'm going to say for example do Krav Maga in San Francisco because I'm a hardcore boxing Krav girl. I'm going to press that because it's auto staved. And you can see, this is where GPS came in. The Slope Garden Center is somewhere near my thumb. Krav Maga's over here. And then from this GPS, you can then click to find out more information about Krav, about self-defense, etc. We're not gonna do that one just now, it's not a big deal. But this is what you can do. Now, if you wanna know where your exact location is, just saying if you got lost. And you want to know, once in a blue moon, when I'm walking through Golden Gate Park, I slightly do get a bit lost. So this icon here on the right hand side, this slight nautical, click that and it will then bounce to your exact location. I am not going to click that because I don't want you to know whereabouts I am in the city. But if you click that, it will then bounce over and show you exactly where you are and then you can zoom in or you can zoom out on all your location and your GPS is now good to go. Happy roaming. So remember that when you're playing around with your phone, if you don't want the GPS on, just go into the settings in location that I showed you. Just turn it off. It's no big deal. There are worse things happening in the world than you wanting or not wanting to have your GPS for your phone. I have mine on all the time because it just makes life so much easier. I can track, I can log what's going on. And I'm just going onto my Google Maps. It's really, really simple. If you don't have GPS on, then when you press location on your map, it won't show up. It's a no brainer. So if you want to keep it on, just keep it on all the time. My name's Hedy, I'm the Big Cheese founder of San Francisco based travel gift card, mytab.co, signing off on a beautiful balmy evening.